hey guys it's me Tanha. in this video i will show you a step by step tutorial of an exterior render in enscape for revit in this video i will be using the house model that i created in my previous video if you want to get this file to follow along with this tutorial you can get it from my patreon or you can just watch the previous video and model it yourself anyway let's get started first i'm creating all of the materials i will need for this project in revit because i will be using the enscape material editor which only works with generic materials So once I finished creating all the materials, I just assigned them to the objects in the project. Here I'm just creating a new wall type for the exterior walls so that I can use a different material for these walls as well as for the columns. Now we can run the Enscape and make the changes to the materials. I will take the Enscape window to this side and let's start editing the materials. As I said earlier, I will be using Enscape materials for all the objects except for the walls. Since the process of editing Enscape materials is the same, I will just fast forward this part. For an in-depth video tutorial on Enscape material editor, you can check out the video link in the description. For the walls I will be using custom material. I am using this wall paint texture and adding a displacement map instead of a bump to get more depth. Here I am just adding materials to the floor faces. I will be using Enscape material for the doors also so that's why I am creating generic uh, materials for the doors here. Because of the screen recorder error, I missed this part. 
I use wood 36 material from Enscape material library for the doors. Now we have this row material. For that I am using the road 01 material from Enscape and just rotating and increasing the texture size to set it as per the scene we have done that we can move on to the asset part except for the gate and lighting families i use all the assets from the enscape library The gate and the fence families I use from the blocks plugin. I did a video about that plugin on my channel recently. If you are interested in downloading this plugin, you can check that video out. Anyway, I will fast forward this asset placement part as well.
now that we are done adding the assets we can now add the lights to the scene for that first we'll create the ceiling I will remove this layer and add gypsum wallboard material to the ceiling I am using the default recessed ceiling lights here I will just add them to this level then I will just copy both ceiling and lights to the other levels I will be using a face based family uh, for this floor which you can download from my patreon as well. And we have finished with the lighting as well. Now let's resume the Enscape, set up the camera view and create the rendering. To set up the camera view, we go a little far from the scene. Then we can use the field of view slider from the Enscape settings to take the camera closer to the scene. But before that, let's just rename this preset. and uh, use field of view to take the camera close to the scene I would like to change the camera to a two point once we are happy with the settings we can go ahead and create a new camera view make sure you have linked the same preset here I just noticed the lights are too dim so let's go back to Revit and increase the brightness of the ceiling lights. Since we are creating a day rendering and there is a lot of light in the scene, we'll have to increase light as much as possible in Revit. If it's too bright in the Enscape, we can adjust it with the artificial light brightness slider in the Enscape settings. Let's finish up the final settings for the rendering. You can use Enscape default uh, sky settings if you want but in this case I will be using HDRI which I downloaded from hdrihaven.com To enable HDRI lighting you need to keep this box checked Now let's play around with the rotation and brightness to get the best lighting for this scene Here I am going to add some outlines and the exposure. In the image section we will slightly reduce the highlights, shadows, saturation and increase the color temperature a little bit. Just remove all the effects except blue. In the atmosphere tab, remove fog and reduce the sun brightness a little bit. And play around with the artificial light brightness 
and ambient brightness until we get the desired results now i think we are ready to export this scene before doing that i will increase the render quality to ultra and export quality to ultra hd and set jpeg as file format and i will just press ctrl plus one the shortcut key i set to export the image let's check that so that's how easy it is to create an exterior scene in Enscape for Revit and that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure to check out my Enscape tutorials playlist on my channel. I have uploaded 50 plus Enscape for Revit tutorials. So that's it for this video. I hope you have learned something new. So please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my website learnrevitonline.com to get my Revit advanced courses. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.